Hello everyone, welcome to today's Wednesday Racing News and we're going to start with the very latest on jockey Blake Shin. We know that he suffered a broken neck back in a trial fall at Ramwick on August 13. Since then he's been wearing a neck brace, he's travelled to America but late yesterday afternoon he uh, visited a Sydney hospital and the neck brace was allowed to be taken off. Now Blake Shin uh, knows that it'll be still a couple of months before he returns to race riding but he hopes to be back riding in track work in around six weeks. He certainly won't be rushing his return. He won't ride in a race until he's absolutely right. He's still got a little bit of discomfort to his right arm, which physio will uh, commence basically straight away to improve that. But at this stage, the signs are positive for Blake Shin to return later on this year. Well, what a race Saturday is going to be, the Premier Stakes. We've got eight lining up at this stage on a soft five track at Ramwick. Uh, Red Zell is the favourite along with Trapeze Artist. They basically drawn alongside each other Red Zell's drawn the inside Trapeze Artist Barrier 3 and the third pick in her time is drawn in the middle Barrier 2 Invincible Star, it'll be interesting to see how quick they can get out of the barriers it's drawn Barrier 8 in this race on Saturday, as I say at the moment Ramwick is a soft 5 after around 6 mil of rain fell overnight and again this morning there's more showers forecast on Friday night into Saturday morning and of course we're looking forward to seeing many of uh, these Everest horses on Saturday in the Premier, but also in other races coming up. Um, and Canterbury, US Navy flag, it's going to step up its work on Friday morning. It will go on the turf track at Canterbury. It's only trot and cantered the last couple of mornings since arriving here, but looking forward to seeing that horse for sure. And Vega Magic, here was the Albury trial from last Friday. It's going to work at Euroa on Monday in country Victoria. It'll then float up to Sydney next Thursday, so uh, in just over a week's time, and then it will gallop at Randwick on October the 8th. That's the Everest market at this stage. Looking forward to, as I say, six of uh, those runners lining up in the Premier Stakes on Saturday. And we're looking forward to Friday night's Moya at Mooney Valley, the Group 1 Nature Strip. It's drawn awkward considering that ball the muscles come up with barrier four in a field of 13. Nature Strip has drawn seven in that Group 1 on Friday night. Well, what a group of three-year-olds for Newcastle trainer Chris Lees this spring. Uh, the Phillies, Frankly Awesome, Miss Fabulous, Gem Song, and a couple that will line up on Friday, uh, or on Sunday, I should say, El Dorado Dreaming being one of those. The horse has drawn Barrier 5 in the Thousand Guineas Prelude on Sunday. Damien Lane takes the ride. The horse got a, a look around Caulfield, although it galloped wide there on uh, yesterday morning, but at least it's had a look around the Caulfield uh, uh, course proper, and it's all guns are blazing. Barrier 5, the Stable Mart Smart Melody has come up with Barrier 9. Well, Charlie Appleby had a mixed day at Caulfield last weekend. The success story was Jungle Cat. He opens up another horse for us on Sunday at Caulfield called Blair House. It lines up in the Underwood. This is a Group 1 win back in March, back in Dubai. It led up on this occasion. It's a very versatile horse, and probably on Sunday from its draw, they do expect to ride just off the pace. He's running in the Underwood. Uh, James McDonald will take the ride and he had his final spin around at Werribee this morning and uh, did dash home rather nicely the last 400. Watch for him, Blair House on Sunday. Well, what a big night it was for Australian jockeys last night in Singapore. The inaugural jockey series that they've ever had there and Team Australia were the victors. Kieran McAvoy won the second race. Hugh Bowman finished third and Mark Zara finished the night with three fourths and Team Australia caused, uh, well, a bit of an upset they thought that they wouldn't be winning but they certainly did well done to the group of Aussies and they'll be all back riding in either Sydney or Melbourne over the weekend. And finally some other racing news on the Kosciuszko contender Victorum. It's going to have a second barrier trial it'll be on Friday at Gosford over a thousand metres counting down to its first up run in the Kosciuszko on October 13. Stay with all the social media right across Sky. They'll keep you right up to date through the day but for the meantime that's the latest racing news.